was one of those ideas that was presented to you that you went, yes, I'm all in. Was that Mae Young being put through the table? I was very hesitant because it was an 80 year old woman. But then after that first thing and I saw her attitude and, you know, everything. And I've told the stories a million times. Yeah. I was raring to go. I was raring to go. I, I, I remember when Vince came to me and Devon and he's like, I got it. I know how we'll get the people to hate you. You're going to put a woman through a table. <laughs> I was like, yeah, that's going to fucking work. <laughs> they love us for it. One of the great things about you putting May through the table is her squeezing your hand when she's down there just to say, hey, I'm okay. Yeah. What the conversation look like backstage after that spot? Uh, hugs and kisses. I There are two people in this industry that I will, until the day I die, make sure that the world knows about my love, respect, and admiration for and that's May Young and Freddie Blassie. Mm. Because May, May, May got us over. Nobody gets themselves over in this business. You need somebody else to get you over. May Young got the Dudleys over. Mm. A handful of other women did the same thing for taking that super bomb through a table. Yeah. You know? But for what May did for us and what she, what else she was willing to do. I always go out there on social media on her birthday and on the day she passed away and I make sure I say something or just post yeah. something to remember them. And then Freddie Blassie. I'll never forget the first time I met Freddie Blassie at WWE New York, the grand opening of it. And Freddie, Freddie's wife, he's in a wheelchair and Freddie's wife wheels him up to me and Devon and he goes, fellas, I love what you do with the tongue. Why not? And Freddie Blassie, who I grew up on, watching WWWF on Channel 9, WOR, in Queens. Yeah. That guy, that great man, your yeah. pencil, that gate, is coming up to us and doing our gimmick. Wow. And then sits us down and is telling stories and making fun of his wife. And he has us laughing so hard. And then anytime we would see Freddie... It was always, but ah, I'm a demon. Come over here, let, you know, let's talk. And two weeks before he died, me and Devon are in the ring with three minute warning, Rosie and Jamal, and God rest, you know, their souls also, brothers of ours, friends of ours. Steve Austin rolls Freddie Blassie to the ring in his wheelchair. And me and Devon do the what's up, and right as I'm about to say, Devon, get the tables. Austin goes, whoa, 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 whoa. Freddie Blassie's got something he wants to say. And for, I'm, I'm getting chills. Yeah. And Freddie says, Devon, get the tables. Wow. And two weeks later, Freddie Blassie passed away. Wow, that's such the a great The last story. thing Freddie Blassie ever said in a wrestling ring was Devon, get the tables. Wow. Now, you got Two kids, me and Devon, from the Dudleyville section of New York, via Queens and Brooklyn, yeah. watching Freddie Blassie all our life. Can you imagine you would have told us day one, hey, uh, Freddie Blassie, the last thing he's going to ever say is something that you guys came up with? Wow. And that's why I always pay respect to Freddie on social media. Wow.